Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply Innovation. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step tutorial how to create your own Python-based MQTT broker and its client. So I'll use HP MQTT package to create an MQTT broker. Then to create a client, a publisher and also a subscriber, I'll use Paho MQTT client. I will also use Visual Studio Code as my code editor. You can use any code editor that you want or you can use Python IDE like PyCharm, or Tony IDE, etc. Okay, let's get started. So I've opened my Visual Studio Code here with a blank folder called MQTT underscore Python. Let's install several packages that will be used in this project. So uh, I'll install it using pip. You can open the terminal, then type pip install HB MQTT to create an MQTT broker then paho mqtt to create an mqtt client a subscriber and also a publisher then async io to handle coroutine function asynchronously okay so i've installed it before i don't have to install it again you have to install it pip install hp mqtt paho dash mqtt and async io so let's create a broker file. So I'll call it broker.py. Then let's create a broker here. I'll import uh, the first one is import logging just for print the log information from my MQTT broker. Then import also async IO to handle coroutine function asynchronously. Also I have to import from hpmqtt.broker to create a broker. So let's import its broker method like this. Okay. And then let's create a data logger using logging package.getLogger special variable underscore underscore name underscore underscore. After that, let's create uh, configuration for our MQTT broker I'll call it a config variable then it's actually a dictionary Python dictionary the first one is the listeners default then the connection must be a type TCP connection TCP connectivity and also the host bind the host local host port for example I'll use uh, 9999 just for example okay the default value for port is uh, 1883 you can use local host port 1883 or your IP address 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 port 1883 this is the default value for your uh, MQTT host after that let's uh, declare the system interval interval must be 10 millisecond and also topic check topic check uh, I will disable this topic chat key so false okay just a simple MQTT configuration like this the listener default connectivity type of connection and host also system interval then topic check enabled set to false you can set it to true after that let's create uh, our broker so I'll call it broker using broker method then let's insert our configuration here broker config nice okay after that let's create an asynchronous uh, coroutine function using async io dot coroutine then i will create a function to start it my broker so i'll call it start broker it must be yield from broker.start nice after that let's run uh, our broker just a simple if statement if 
underscore underscore name equals to main okay so it means uh, when this broker.py is executed it will run our broker forever so uh, I will create a data logging here logging dot basic config okay so actually I have to create a formatter for our logging information formatter formatter just a string uh, I will insert the date I can use percent as time like this then I will also print the level name using percent level name also I will use name percent name and the last one and the most important thing is the message message like this I will use that formatter as logging information format so type level logging dot info and then the format oops, format equals to uh, our formatter after that let's uh, call the start broker function using async io dot get even loop dot run until complete call or start broker function here like this also I'll call uh, run forever to loop or function okay dot get even loop dot run forever like this okay so this is the basic a simple broker an MQTT broker using HP MQTT okay let's try to run it on the terminal let's try by broker.py enter it let's wait okay nice so our MQTT broker is activated nice okay close it control C or command C and then let's create a subscriber and also a publisher okay so let's create first one is I will create the subscriber.py to subscribe a topic then get the message from our publisher so this is my subscriber let's import paho mqtt dot mqtt I'll, uh, the client because I will create a client as mqtt also let's declare the client client must be mqtt dot client and then let's connect our client or subscriber to my broker at localhost 9999 okay uh, client dot connect the host is localhost and then uh, the port is 9999 okay nice after that let's create a function two function the first one is on connect so if my subscriber has connected to my broker and also a function on subscribe on message for example eh, on message when my subscriber is subscribed to a topic then get the message from my publisher okay a function dev on connect it will take uh, four parameters client user data flags and also RC it will print connected to a broker just a simple message then it will subscribe client dot subscribe to a topic okay for example i'll create a topic named lintang topic slash test okay so this is my uh, simple topic that will be used in this tutorial 
then after that let's get a function on message it will take three parameter client the user data and also the most important thing is the message message from our publisher let's print the message dot payload dot decode to get the data to get the message from our publisher okay after that let's create a while statement while true so it will run forever i'll create client a dot on connect equals to on connect method then client dot on message equals to on message then the last one client dot loop underscore forever okay nice this is my simple uh, subscriber that will be subscribed to a topic called lintang topic underscore or lintang topic slash test okay save it then let's create a publisher so i'll copy um, this sub.py paste in here and i'll call it pub.py okay so this is my publisher publisher import peho.mqtt.client then create a client connect to localhost 9999 after that let's create a while statement while true so it will run forever client dot publish so my publisher will publish to a topic called lintang topic slash test okay make sure you have the same topic as my subscriber like this client dot publish lintang topic slash test then you can send the message okay in this case i will use input method so the user can uh, input something and post it as the message input message this okay let's try activate it our broker.py or broker entity broker then our subscriber and also our publisher I'll open the terminal, split it into three parts. The first one is for my MQTT broker, the second for my subscriber, and the last one is for my publisher. Okay, let's try to activate all of this file. The first one, let's activate our broker, pybroker.py. Okay, nice. And then the second one, let's activate my subscriber sub.py activate okay connected to a broker so now my subscriber uh, has connected to my mqtt broker then the last one let's activate my publisher pi pub.py enter it nice okay my subscriber and also publisher uh, have connected to my mqtt broker let's send a message from my publisher terminal let's try hello world enter it nice look at my subscriber this message comes from my publisher let's try again python is awesome enter it nice python is awesome etc okay iot using mqtt okay nice it works so next uh, i'll set my broker to listen to my publisher so not only my subscriber that get the data get the message but also my broker can print or get the message from my publisher so it will be sent to database etc okay so i'll control c control c control c cls let's modify our broker mqtt open broker.py uh, i will import also from uh, the first one is hp mqtt hp mqtt 
dot client. Let's import MQTT client and also client exception. Client exception. MQTT client to create client using HP MQTT and client exception to handle an error message from our MQTT broker. Also, let's import HP MQTT dot MQTT dot constants constants like this to import the quality of surface. So I'll use QoS underscore one. You can use uh, QoS two or QoS zero quality of surface of our MQTT broker. After that, let's create uh, an asynchronous coroutine function again here at async io dot coroutine then I'll create a function called uh, for example broker get message so after this my broker can also listen to my publisher then get the data get the message from my publisher okay like this broker get message then I'll create a client using HP MQTT see uh, MQTT client then it will be yield from c.connect to mqtt slash slash localhost port 9999 okay mqtt slash localhost port 9999 after that, it will be yield also from c dot subscribe subscribe from a topic. So the topic is lintang underscore uh, lintang topic slash test. Okay, copy it then paste in here lintang topic slash test. This is uh, the topic. I will use quality of surface one level one okay qos one after that let's print it using logger.info just a simple information subscribe like this after that let's try to print also the message try for e in range from 10 to 100 from 1 to 100 uh, the message the message will be yield from C dot deliver a message deliver a message and then packet data it must be message dot publish packet after that let's decode the message and also print it on the terminal packet dot payload dot data dot decode and it will be used utf8 decoder okay just as simple as that then try and also accept uh, I'll insert client exception as CE for example and it will be logger dot info or dot error yeah because client exception will handle the error message so I can use logger dot error client exception and also the message percent s because it will be a string will be client exception like this okay so here is our asynchronous coroutine function called broker get message so our broker can get also the message from my publisher and print in on terminal after that let's uh, call the function here async io get even loop run until complete and it must be broker get message function 
nice save it and let's try to execute our broker our subscriber and our publisher by broker not by okay nice and by sub dot by to activate my subscriber connected to a broker and then the last one by pub dot by okay nice let's try to send a message for example hello world enter it nice look at my subscriber and also my broker the message comes from my publisher okay, let's try again iot using mqtt enter nice python is awesome okay great hp mqtt and paho mqtt client nice simple innovation okay so that's it a simple connectivity a simple tutorial how to create your own python based mqtt broker and its client a subscriber and also publisher using hp mqtt and also paho mqtt client for full tutorial you can check on my github repo link is on description on the next video we will connect my mqtt broker to database so we can save the message from our publisher Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next Simple Project by Simple Innovation. Bye.